Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Maurice's Polo Reviews. Today, today we'll be talking about what is on my mannequin and a cop. I'm on the fence about, but we're getting it. So first and foremost, if this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you. You know what I'm saying? It's all about positivity on this channel. We don't do all that um, other stuff. You know, we just try to talk positivity and what's going on in the world today. Um, I want to give a shout out to my boys, Fleet, Cliff, Ron, Mel, <laughs> Dunn, Salute, Pink, Dex, <laughs> Ralph Man, Boo, Salute, and the bros. You know what I'm talking about? So, with that out the way, let's get into it. So, we're going to talk about what's on my mannequin. Sort of kind of wanted to go with a classic somewhat. And the reason being is because we're getting into the fall season. And with fall season come, thin coats. So this particular jacket is, I would consider, a classic, um, a staple in Ralph Lauren's brand. The heavy khaki jacket with the blue polo horse. Um, I had this jacket in my collection for the last past, I want to say, 20 years. So... You know, and you know, I've been through some things, but at the same time, you know, I take care of my stuff. So, you know, it's okay. You know, a little bit of wear and tear makes some products look better. Sometimes it don't. Sometimes it do. In this case, it makes it look better. Um, <clears throat> underneath that, I have a, I have a mm, yellow Oxford up under it. Also, I have a, that is a rugby sweater up under it don't have the polo signs on it just a regular rugby um sweater i think it's a nice color whenever you get to looking at it it's more like a green a greenish color um it's very nice you know what i'm saying very thick um it's not screaming you know polo 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 it's a nice classic look um and i wanted to throw it up under this um jacket you know what i'm saying because it gives you a settled look gives you a fall look you know once you wear it, of course, you can rock it with denim. You can rock it with chinos. You can rock it with anything you feel necessary as long as everything flows. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk about that. I also just want to talk about positivity. You know, for a moment, tap on that. Um, the world is full of, I would say, negative thoughts. And there's nothing wrong if a person got something going on in their life. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? We tend to think the worst before we think you know, think the best of things, but it's a lesson to be learned in everything that we go through in life. You have to um, necessarily try to apply that to your day-to-day -day life, you know, and what I mean by that, you know, the way you treat people, the way you carry yourself, acting accordingly, handling a situation in a mature manner before it escalates. So, you know, that's just me giving my positivity back to the world. That's the way I think. Try to, try to, not overthink a situation or put much into a situation because it seems and it tends to have an overreaction of a situation that may be minute. You know what I'm saying? So try not to overreact to a situation because every action has a reaction. So try just to apply it. You know, today is Sunday, so I hope everybody's getting their self prepared for a whole work week. You know, the hustle and bustle of life, but at the same time, you got to learn to step back, analyze, and tackle whatever you got going on. So, with that out of the way, I want to get into this cop real quick. So, when I got into this, when I, I've been looking at this particular item for a while, never pulled the trigger, and I finally pulled the trigger on it. Um, it is a double RL product, you know, item. Um, when I got it in hand, I thought it was going to be heavier than what it was, but let's get into it. You know, so I know y'all waiting and I've been holding it in my closet for a minute. So this particular vest, it has the suede patches with a suede patch on the side. This is actually very nice. The material, you can tell they took their time about it and it goes through the back. And I like the camo look, you know what I'm saying? I have been looking at this item, like I said, for a while now. I'm not going disclose, to disclose how much I paid because I don't even want to talk about it. But this particular item, I thought when I got it that it was going to be heavier than actually what it is. And it's not. It's, I want to say it's, it's a thin material, but the quality is there. You know what I'm saying? 
I just got to, you know, put my touch on it whenever I do rock it. Um, like I told you guys before, you people, because I'm sure it's going to be some ladies to watch this. Um, I wanted to go in a double RL lane. You know, um, I'm still rugby. You know what I'm saying? Rugby to the heart. But at the same time, the older I get, the older I become, you got to scale up instead of scaling down. And that's, um, we spend a lot of money. A little tip real quick. <clears throat> and me and a friend were just talking about this. But the older we get, the more you think about, sorry, but you think about the money that you actually spend in your wardrobe, as I have. And I got rid of a lot of things that I have outgrown. There's nothing wrong with outgrowing certain things, uh, especially your wardrobe. Um, and I wanted more of a quality than I want items. I'm spending, a, you know, I have spent a lot of money in my wardrobe and I got rid of a lot of things. Reason being because I'm getting older, I'm getting more mature and I want to tone everything down slightly, but at the same time with a quality, with a better quality product. There's nothing wrong with this. So take your time and looking at these items, these garments you you purchase, look for deals. Also, I just, um, I always look for deals. I'm not trying to pay re resale price on a retail item. And I get it. You know, sometimes you're going to have to overpay certain. It depends on the item. And if it's vintage or new or whatever the case may be, you're going to have to spend some money. And I get that. But at the same time, ain't nothing wrong with asking, the, hey, like, is this the bottom dollar on this item? You know, I would like to know that before I end up giving you an extra 20 or extra 100 or extra $200 on this item if we can agree in the middle on something. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's okay. Trust and believe you, me, it is okay. I do it. All the person can say is no. So, you know what I'm saying? Just be more, you know, just it's your money. You are the customer. Understand it. And if they don't want to, you know what I'm saying, be into it. Your, your knees or, or whatever you trying to agree to, it's okay. They can hold on to the product. Cause guess what? At the end of the day, if don't nobody buy it, they're going to be like, I just passed up two or $300. You know what I'm saying? That I could have by me trying to be greedy. So whatever the case may be. So, um, yeah, you know, like I said before, you got to protect, you know, your family. You know what I'm saying? You got to think when it comes down to, the way we spend our money. And like I said before, there's nothing wrong with talking to a person about, hey, is this the bottom dollar on this item? Can we agree to come to an agreement on the pricing that I'm willing to pay for this item? There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that person, there's no telling them what that person's going through and you're not trying to lowball them. But at the same time, if I have been on eBay and Poshmark for a long period of time, nine times out of ten, they'll come to some type of agreement where you can just go ahead and they'll go ahead and agree, you know what I'm saying, to the terms you throw it out there. There's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, getting myself prepared for the work week, you know, wanted to get on here and holler at my people. You know, we almost at, uh, I think we had eight. 15, something like that, 820. You know what? We're pushing toward a thousand. Like I said before, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, it's all about positivity in, in life, period. Regardless of whatever you're going through, don't let a five minute emotional state cost you a lifetime of worries. So, with that being said, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. We're all about positivity over here. So with that being said, salute and have a great week.